go. Good afternoon, my name is Ed Chester, I'm the Executive Chef at Otterton Mill down in Devon, beautiful part of the world, and what we're going to be doing now is pigeon caramelised toast, leeks and bacon. Really quick, really simple, let's go. I have one take to do this in, I've got to do it in under 10 minutes, let's see if I can do it. Right, with the pigeon, best thing to do, get the feathers off the breast, okay? Don't have to muck around, just get in there, get the feathers off, there you go, and I've already exposed lovely glistening breast there. Absolutely beautiful. So, there we go, there's that handy hint if you're dealing with feathers. Have a little bowl of water, okay? And then you just dabble your fingers in it, and the feathers will come off much, much easier. Right, there we go, that's pretty well the feathers dealt with. Here I've got the breast, I'm gonna peel the skin off, okay? Just use your fingers, peel the skin all the way back, and then we're going to do what's called a D-cut, okay, D-cut, not D-cut, that is something completely different. Okay, here's my knife, lovely sharp little knife, and we're going to go along the breastbone, and we're going to form a D down the bottom of the breast, up by the wishbone, there we go, and just slice that away, there is one beautiful breast there, okay, couple of feathers on it, we'll pull those off in a minute. Here we go, second breast, working down, cutting along the bottom. It's very easy to see where you should cut. There's a lovely little line of fat that you can work your way around, down the wishbone, and slice it off. There we go. Right, this pigeon I'll pluck later. We'll put that into a beautiful game stock. There we go, little dabble in the water, little dabble in the water, off the feathers come. Right, let's just clean up these two breasts, put this little hob on, it's an induction hob, works through magnetism, I don't doubt one or two of you will email me and go for goodness sakes it's not magnetism, it's something else very scientific, well magnetism works for me and it worked for my wife as well. Okay, bit of animal magnetism. Right, here we go, pigeon, very healthy, very lean, very dark meat, okay, be quick, be very clean with it, it is not a meat that will take kindly to long cooking. You do not need to cook it long. This whole process is going to take minutes. There are my two breasts, absolutely beautiful. I've got the pan coming up for lovely heat. So first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna take a bit of lovely churned butter. There we go. And good knife, always please use a sharp knife. Here I've got about 80 grams of butter into a very hot pan. I will put that up to the side. I've got my two breasts, they are ready. I'm gonna pop those there just for a minute. Now I'm gonna switch boards, okay? Even though it's all going to the same dish, doesn't do any harm to make sure you are using the correct coded boards, or as close as you can get at home. Please do not mix raw meat and vegetables, salads, fish. Keep them separate, all right? Make sure if you've only got one board, you are cleaning your board in between times. Okay, while I'm waiting for the pan to get nice and nice and hot, I've got a beautiful one inch slice of white bread here. Please don't go and buy a thick slice from the supermarket. Waste of money. Get some decent quality organic flour. Lovely homemade bread. There we go. If you can make your own, all the better. We've got a whole bunch of bakers and millers here at the mill. And uh, well, this is just as good as it's gonna get. Right, that's my round of bread. Here's my leek. Oh, yep, here we go. Please, please, please be careful when you are chopping. Do not chop your fingers. I can see out of the corner of my eye that the butter is beginning to bubble. That's beautiful. I'll give it about another 30 seconds. There are my leeks. Okay, and then I've got some bacon here. Right, there we go. Yes, I know I'm doing bacon on the green board, but everything is going into the same pan, so please do not worry about it. All I'm doing here is just nice half centimeter strips Okay, I've got two rashers here, that's absolutely beautiful. Flip them around once, twice through, so you've got some nice chunky bits of bacon. Okay, there we go, that is pretty well all my ingredients. My butter is, there you go, you can just hear that, oh, wonderful sizzle, don't put your fingers into a hot pan, right? Very, very important, I'll get into terrible trouble if you do. So, here we go, I'm gonna put one breast in, there we go. I'm gonna put two breasts in, and I'm gonna give that about, oh, 30 seconds before I start adding everything else to the pan. Okay, all in one pot, keep it simple, keep it clean, nice and quick, nice and firm textured meat, lovely luscious leeks, this bacon from the very best pigs that I can find locally. Beautiful, homemade white bread, that's pretty well it. All I've got on top of that is a little bit of scrumpy. All right, do please, please 
don't use apple juice if you can help it, don't go and buy something cheap and horrible, don't use white lightning, any of that, uh, they're great products in their own right. Please, I've got to say that or I'm going to get into trouble, but get a good scrumpy. Get some good salt, this is Cornish sea salt, right, very important, absolutely wonderful. In my opinion, better than Malden, but I'm not here to advocate one company over another, I just use the best that I can find. Right, here we go, this is a heat proof spatula, very important. I'm going to put the leeks in, now, into the foaming butter. I'm going to put the bacon in at the same time on top of the leeks. All right. And there we go. Get all that in. There we go. Bacon, leeks, pigeon. Absolutely wonderful. Here's my bread. And we're going to just pop that into the butter as well. So as you can see, it is a one-pot dish. That is what it looks like. Okay, probably pretty ugly from this view. Oh, the cameraman made me flick the pan and everything's gone. Peter Tong. Right, here we go. I don't need the boards anymore. Not for a minute. I'm going to flip the green board. <clears throat> I will come back to it when we're just slicing up the pigeon. Okay. Now, oh, you see, look at that free range feather. That's as healthy as it's going to get. Right, I'm going to turn the pigeon breasts over. Please be careful when you're doing this at home. That's one. That's two pigeon breasts turned over. I'm going to give the bacon and leek a quick stir. Absolutely lovely. There we go. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful. And this is almost ready. Okay, brilliant, brilliant. Flip the bread. Okay, it's got lovely caramelly buttery tones over it. That is really, really exciting. I am looking forward to this. This is going to be my lunch, not yours. When you do it at home, then you can have it. But for the minute, it's mine. Right, have I got anything else hidden down here? It's like a sooty and sweet show. Let's have a little look. No, that's about it, except for a plate to put it all on too. So, here we go. Big moment now. My bread's pretty well ready. My bacon, my leeks, they're pretty well ready. So, I'm going to just leave the pigeon for another, I'm sensing 20 seconds. You'll, you know, you'll figure it out as you like it. It's quite a livery meat, it's quite dark, it's quite strong, okay? If you cook it lightly, it remains soft, beautifully textured, light livers, but if you cook it hard, well, it's a bit like when you cook liver hard. So there we go, I've got one I've pulled out. I've got two I've pulled out, those are just gonna rest. There's my toast, flip that back over, and back over again. Everything's coming together. What we're gonna do now, little trick of the tray, we're gonna put a little bit of uh, scrumpy in there. Woo, goodness me, we're gonna put a little bit of Cornish sea salt into that. Absolutely beautiful. Look at that, that is coming down an absolute treat. So, here we go. I have a clean plate, all right. Bit hodgepodgey, never mind. And very carefully, I'm gonna pull out the crisp bread. There we go, and we'll pop that into the middle of the plate. Next, we're going to slice the pigeon. So we'll have a little swap around. Okay, there's the bread, here's the pigeon. Hooray for the pigeon. And we're going to slice. Slice on the diagonal, okay? Gives you a lovely big thick cut. There we go, and the other one. One, a two, a three cuts. There we go, absolutely lovely. Right, and then we'll do some swapsies again. And we're going to take this lovely leek and bacon flurry, okay? And we're just going to pour the juices over the bread. Okay, hope you're getting on camera. There we are, come around here. And we've got the bacon, we've got the leeks. Absolutely lovely, there we go. All that's on top of the bread. We'll turn the heater off. And now we're just going to lay the pigeon on top. One, two, three. Up we go. Four, five, six beautiful fat pieces of lovely glossy pigeon. Two bits for me. That is as good as it's going to get. Right, here we go. And now I will clear the scenes. Oh yes, and hint, use a damp cloth underneath the chopping board. Stop the chopping board flying around. There we go. And that, slightly inelegantly, you can touch it up in your own way. Maybe a little bit of sprig of thyme over the top. Oh, that's so good. That is the finished dish. Thank you very much.